time to repeat. Two, one, hello. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, choir retreat. <laughs> Tant. Choir retreat family. <laughs> Welcome to day. Sige nga, anong day tayo? Nako, iniintay natin si Dana Chang pag mga ganyang tanong. Sige, day. Hashtag. Hashtag. That's a lot. Hello, Good team. Good hello yeah. muna tayo. Oh, oh. Hi, Joanne oh. Malot. Hello, Lily Beth Kanata, of course. Hello. <laughs> Kayo yung talagang mga on time, ano? Nasa yeah, ayan, si yeah, Lily Beth na una. Yeah. Oh. Hashtag day 47. Day 47. Hindi, <laughs> nandiyan yan si Danny. Hindi lang natin nakikita. Oh, oh, hello, hello. Oh, hello, everybody. Day 47 <laughs> of our quarry tree. Parang excited sila. Oh, Kamusta andito na, na sila lahat. Grabe. <laughs> Bilis, ano? Oo oh, oh, nga. Bilis na mami. Excited <laughs> din kami kasi we have a special guest tonight. Oo oh, oh, nga, artista yata. <laughs> itong guest natin, ano? Parang gano'n lang yung mga kalibre ng guest natin, eh, no? Hello, hello! Hi, G! Hi, Joji! Hi, Pete! Mm. Nelson! Hi. Si Pete, si Nelson! I have a few, uh, ano, shout-outs. Yes! May I? Ayan. Go, go, go! Habang kumapasok pa sila, hello! Uh, we'd like to say hi to Lorlin from Antio, California. To Edison Navalef, all the way to Singapore, Nax. All the way in Singapore. Jeffrey Joseph De Roca, the husband of Annalie. Shout out to you. Hello. Hello. Glory Sarmiento in Paris. Love siya na wow. Grabe. Maria Cecilia from Switzerland. Hi, hi. Carla also from Yokohama, Japan. Kumusta kayo dyan? Hello. Jove Melanie, we, we're, we're, we prayed for uh, Savvy, your pamangkin. How is he? Mm. We hope that he is fine and uh, able to eat his milk. <laughs> eat and of course, milk. Eat eat, drink, 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 sorry. The milk. Drink yes. the milk, newborn baby daw yan oh. eh. Yan. And of course, we want to say our thanks. Heartfelt yan. Heart na heart. Uh, to Jeg and Edwin, alam Boy, niyo na kung bakit. Thank you, thank you. Love <laughs> thank you, bro and for everything. Ay, bakit ka nag-ayabang ng t-shirt mo? I love Ayon. the shirt na, sabi ni Nelson. Hello, JF, Vietnam. Vietnam. So, bago mag-lockdown, galing kami ni Lele ng Vietnam. <laughs> nag, ano tayo, Actually, anniversary. Actually, natakot nga kami, kala namin. Wala Ay, naman ba? dun eh. Wala dun. Wala, at saka tayo, nag-quarantine din tayo na. I know 14 days and more. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hello, everyone. Yes. So welcome to this to this um day. Oh, ano yung tanong natin sa kanila? Oh, nga. magtatanong na kami ngayon habang... Para isulat nyo na before mm -hmm. we call our guest tonight. Oh, actually, this was your assignment. Our assignment yes, last our night. our assignment no? last night. So, in line with last night's never fail topic, mm -hmm. our topic for discussion, please type, 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 brothers and sisters, what is the promise of the Lord that you are holding on to now? Yan. Yeah. Diba? Kasi kahapon ng topic natin, our topic yesterday was never fail. Yes. So God has promises. Ang dami niyang pangako sa'yo. Mm -mm. Tapos kailangan mo hawakan yun kasi yung pangako niya, tuloy-tuloy yan, magiging totoo yan. Basta sinabi niya yan sa salita niya. So ano yun, mga yun? Sige nga, mm -hmm. ano yung pinangahawakan kong pangako? Sige. Pagka alam niyo na, you can just type it there kahit Kahit hindi nyo alam kung saan galing passage, <laughs> pwede na. Psalm yes, 91, yes, sabi yes, ni Maria yes. Lou. Oh, Ay, ang ganda niya. Thing. Si Maribel din, Psalm 91. Mm, si, uh, si Francis. Si Francis. Hello, Francis. Psalm 9, verse 9. Wow. wow. Yan ang mga pinangkakapita natin. Ng mga... Memorize ko lahat yan. <laughs> Talaga, no? Oh, oh. Nagpa-flash lang agad sa isip oh, ko yan ngayon. Ang habang sinasabi niya. May yun. kanta pa ako sa album ko ng Psalm 91. <laughs> Pagtitiwala. Akantahin yeah. natin yan next time. Jeremiah 29, 11. Isaiah oh, yes, 41, yes. verse 10. Holding on to Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Mark 11, 24. Ang gaganda ng mga sinasabi nyo. Very nice. 
John 3.16, ah, God loves the world. So, oh, panghawakan man. natin yan. Si, si Cora naman, 1 Peter 5 verse 7. Ganda. <laughs> Ganda yan. Balik-balikan nyo yun mamaya. Panoorin nyo to ulit. Yes, Tapos basahin yes, yes. nyo yung comments. Open your Bible. Look at it. Baka gusto mo rin yung pangako na yun na pinangahawakan ng mga quality treatments family natin. Di ba? Mm. Hawakan nyo rin yan. Very nice. All right. Yay. So Thank dahil you. pinangahawakan natin ng salita ng Diyos, meron tayong lalong pwedeng gawin sa ating buhay. Yes. Because we trust in Him that He will never fail us. That's right. So, tuhog na tuhog yan yes. with our topic tonight. Okay. That's so right. let us call our special guest. <laughs> Let's give the word first. Oh, kayo, kayo. I, our guest will, Ooh. yes, will, ano, will feed us tonight. All right. With, God's word, no less than <laughs> God's word. I'm sure you know her, brothers and sisters, and for those of you who are joining for the first time. First time, welcome and to Quarry not, Treat. Huh? Yes, and do not yet know her, Nako, you will definitely be inspired by this woman of God. I'm uh, very blessed to uh, journey with her <laughs> and uh, see her live her life up close yeah. that's what i always tell her wow sis to do life with you is such a blessing and she's going to share with us tonight our topic is you yeah. know abandonment to god's will ah, abandonment and, and if we're talking about abandonment to you know surrendering to god this is the person that um should really <laughs> should really share with us tonight and so without further ado we bring you our sister editor-in-chief of uh, the feast magazine and our dear friend sister risa simpson Kaupen. Yay! hello everybody hi hi Hi, sis. You woke up like that. Oh, yeah. Of course. You know me. Di ba? Pag nag-overnight tayo, ganito ba na ba? Talaga. Pagka mga ganda talaga. Nag-gising. Grabe. Na-miss ko tuloy yung hito ko, sis. Di ba? Parang hindi ko marang mga butas ng tenga. Oo nga, no? Hindi ko na pala. Si... How are you? Besides beautiful, how are you? I I'm, I know I'm, that you. Sige, sis, sorry. No, no. I uh, I'm. Uh, you know, a lot of people may not be liking the being in quarantine, but actually, I I have to confess that I love it. I love the. Pwede pala ako ano ang house arrest pala hindi punishment sa akin. I I love being home. Uh, somebody told me that. Um, uh, your home is not an address. It's not a physical location. Home is where um, the people you love are. So you know, yes. I so this mm. this this my my favorite place on earth, on planet Earth, and um, I, I just love being home. <laughs> So, and speaking of people you love, eh, the, your most beloved just celebrated his 50th mm, birthday yeah, in quarantine a few yeah. days ago, sis. Mm -hmm. Would you would you like to tell yeah. us a, a bit about how you celebrated? Uh, well, um, sa awa ng Diyos, uh, we were able to order food. Uh, and in honor of you, uh, Arun, we ordered Indian <laughs> food. Yes! <laughs> Yeah, they loved it. Except oh, that really? um, well, some of the uh, ano, masyadong, um, spicy. Pero yung uh, butter chicken, of course, favorite. Di ba? Oh, yes, so, yes, 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 yes. And then the, the family of the brother of Chris just lives a few houses away from us. So we've been uh, on quarantine, on lockdown for a month and a half. So um, they came over um, and um, they, they uh, shared the meal with us. So simple lang, pero um, I realized really the things in life that we enjoy the most aren't the most yeah. expensive ones, diba? That's oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. No, that's one of the many realizations uh, that um, that are, you know, that we've been having for for this entire crisis. Day, day 47 yeah. na tayo. Oh, so oh, ikaw, yeah, masaya yeah. na kasi siguro, hindi mo 
masyadong nararamdaman, no? Plus, hindi na talaga umaalis, di ba? So, Oy, pero, uh, good news, nung isang araw na uh, I was able to get my quarantine pass, you know, ever since lockdown, our village uh, has not been given a uh, quarantine pass. So, you're not allowed, no? We were not allowed kasi merong um, two cases na positive sa amin. So, uh-huh. la, uh, this week pa lang nagbigay ng quarantine kasi na, gumaling na, thank God. Mm-hmm. Gumaling sila tapos uh, lumampas na yung um, period that, um, yeah. uh, that their quarantine period. So, for the first time, na-issuehan kami ng quarantine. So, I am the one who has a quarantine pass in this house. And when I held it, I felt like I got a passport with a 10-year visa. Diba? <laughs> so I'm raring to go out. <laughs> yes, ba? yes, yes. <laughs> At least so, grocery time, no? At least. Um, yeah. May well, they, ng they, natin. They, yeah, well, not even grocery because they bring everything to our our, ano nga, mm, our village yeah. since we've been on lockdown. But it's okay. I, I I don't really do grocery, so I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay ordering food uh, online. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, as I said, we are so blessed that you're here, sis, and we're just here to you know, um, pick your brains and uh, no, dissect your heart. <laughs> what the Lord. Oh, we are so blessed. Yeah. I would like to hear from you what the Lord, well, as to this topic that we're having for day 47, it's, you know, abandoning ourselves to the will of God. And uh, generally, what you, what your journey has been since we've been on lockdown, <laughs> mm-hmm. how is, uh, how is, you know, malaking issue sa atin yung control, eh, no? So, yeah. and now that we, the central one of the central um issues now is you know we lose we have lost all that and so we'd like to hear from you how you have been dwelling on this this uh this message mm-hmm. what the lord has been telling you uh, or after worship now oh, now oh, no, no. <laughs> Ah, okay. Um, well, you know, um, we were talking about freedom. You know, I, I was just thinking, I, hindi, hindi, wala, ah, sige, I will be lying if I said hindi pa ako buhay ng martial law. Buhay na ako pero wala pa akong malay. <laughs> diba? <laughs> So we didn't, uh, uh, you know, but I, I, I've heard stories um, about how it was. Pero alam mo ngayon, mas malala pa sa martial law dinadaanan natin. But we're all, you know, nobody's um, complaining and nobody's marching out in the streets. Um, so yeah. I, I believe that um, being um, contained is, um, it, it, it goes beyond um, be, being physically restrained. Um, they say that there are people who are um, in prison, but they're free. But there are many people who are not in prison, but, oh, yeah. and, and who are out there, and yet, they are imprisoned diba? by different beliefs, by wrong, wrong um uh, uh you know wrong beliefs. So um ako ang tingin ko kasi dito sa uh, well first of all it's for our good. Diba? Um kaya ka, kaya ka ba naman naging hero na, na naging couch potato ka lang sa bahay hero ka na, diba? Oh, you, na. Yeah. you just need yeah. home, no? Yeah. <laughs> Diba? I mean, you do nothing and you're a hero, diba? Mm-hmm. So, um, so I, I believe that it's, um, uh, you know, um, always making the most of whatever um, situation we're given. Um, there are times when we've been given much. I mean, really, like, uh, you know, doors of opportunities open for us. And yet, if we do not seize it, if we don't um, take advantage, then... Useless. It doesn't matter if you're here or there or I know if you don't take advantage of or or grab the opportunity that's right before you, then might as well lock the door. Diba? And yeah, in this yeah. quarantine, we realize that wow, number one, we can do um uh, so little, uh, so much with so little that our lives can be so much simpler and yet be happy. And yes. we've also realized that the 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 most important things in life are not really things, diba? <laughs> they're, they're, diba? So um, if, if we don't see that, if we miss the the message of this season, which I hope and pray to God, I mean, you know, I, I, um, 
I, I hope this is um, you know once in our lifetime. You know this this yeah. this pandemic. Diba? I think once in a century is uh, too much. Um, so, but parang feeling ko, sayang naman kung, kung antayin lang natin na lumipas to. You know, um, when I, I remember when I was um, 13, uh, when I was uh, uh, before 13, I couldn't wait to turn 13. You know, I, I couldn't mm-hmm. wait to be a teenager. Diba? Yeah. Kasi parang feeling ko, passage siya to, to um, adulthood or, or, you know, pagkadalaga. Um, and then uh, when I reached 13, I couldn't wait to be 16. Diba? But then, uh, but that, that time now, the present, diba? the present moment, that's, that, that, that's the gift that we have. And so if we don't, um, you know, if we're always looking to tomorrow, then today is always wasted. So um, I think that, that's, that's uh, one of the things that um, we, we, can, we learned uh, in this, in this um, lockdown that really uh, there's so much, even as Christians, there's so much that we can do right from this place, this spot right here in front yeah. of our computers. You know, I find myself, I, I, I work from home, um, um, you know, b- before lockdown, I work from home uh, most days of the week, more than half uh, of the week. Um, I, I'm at home, um, but now I'm, you know, supposed to be. Parang people are binging on Netflix and you know, um, cooking up, you know, uh, cleaning and and doing things that they never had uh, time to do. Um, I'm actually uh, working more now. I have more work now, and and I find myself I sit down in the morning uh, on my chair and I I stand up. Ay, naku, lumubog na yung araw. <laughs> di ba? So, but really, so much work happens right here. Um, yeah. So, if we miss that, if we keep on looking outside the window and saying, Hi, kailan ba ako makakalabas? You know, kami, hindi, hindi, we're not even allowed to go out of our homes in our village. So, um, other day lang, pinayagan na, uh, if you're exercising, you can go out for two hours. Um, my window, uh, uh, 5 to 7 a.m. ka lang pwede lumabas para mag-exercise. So imagine, so I haven't been outside. So if, but if you're the type of person who keeps on looking outside and saying, wow, parang I can't wait for my life to start out there. Sayang okay. naman yung 40 plus days natin na nandito tayo sa loob, di ba? Because okay. I believe that you cannot bloom where you're not planted right now i'm planted here right now you're planted wow. there diba? so I, I, yeah. there's i can't bloom anywhere else except here diba? Yeah. so if we don't see that if we miss that then sayang sayang yung sayang yung opportunity that's tama, right, tama. That's right. sabi ni bevo sabi niya the best things in life are actually not things tama. Yep. <laughs> That's right. So I, I want to share, I, I wanted to share um, John 12, um, 24, because you, you, you talked about abandonment to God. And yes, yes. Um, John 12, 24 says, this is the, the New American Bible version. Amen, amen, I say to you, Jesus is speaking, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a uh, medyo matalinhaga, ano? <laughs> medyo matalinhaga. Pero at the same time, it's very practical because oh nga naman, di naman tutubo yung, yung um, tanim kung yung yeah. bingi hindi siya, hindi mo uh, nilibing, di ba? Hindi mo siya itinanim sa lupa. And um, our lives in the same way, you know, um, losing your life is, um, you know, it's, it's abandoning um, ourselves to the will of God. And and I know it's, it, it sounds scary, di ba? When you, when you say abandon, in, in fact, abandonment is a negative word, di ba? Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a cause for trauma, <laughs> di ba? Yeah. Natatrauma yeah, yeah. kayo mga... Diba? May mga bata, may mga bata na lumaki na tumanda um, because of abandonment issues. Even their relationships now are still damaged. Um, so abandonment is not a is not a positive word. But 
um, in the hands of God, everything, kahit yung pinakapangit, even the ugliest, becomes, um, can be made beautiful by, by God. And um, abandonment is one of those ugly words that actually beautiful when you do it um, in the Lord. Um, it, it, it's difficult um, for us to abandon or to surrender to God because um, we're so used to being in control. You said that. Kanina lang yes, yes. And, and in this pandemic, we are so out of control. We are, <laughs> diba? Yeah, imagine, yeah. Ima- imagine we are able to send a man to the moon. We, we've sent probes to Mars. We've invented, uh, you know, um, um, uh, driverless cars. We've, mm. we've yeah. mapped the human genome. Diba? I oh. mean, kung, kung isipin mo sa karunungan, Oh, nako, grabe. In the past uh, decades, you know, the, 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 in, the intelligence of man has really skyrocketed. And yet this uh, microscopic <laughs> enemy <laughs> has, right. has made the world grind to a halt. So, yeah. so you know, um, so it, it's so um, uh, unnerving to, to be uh, out of control. Um, but yes. it's different when we surrender. Because surrender, um, when we surrender, uh, well, when we surrender to God, syempre nakakatakot kasi uh, we're afraid uh, yes. of what God might ask us to do. Yun, yun naman usually, uh, ako, binaanan ka, Arun, tayo, di ba, nung, nung mga teenagers, uh, magkakasama um, kami ni Arun serving. Yes. And I remember one of the uh, one of the major things that I, I had to surrender as a as a uh, young person was my state of life. <gasps> oh my God! Di ba? Di ba? Magtawag na ako ni Lord na magmadre. Magtawag na ako ni Lord. Single, single for life. Single <laughs> for life. I mean that that was one of the major things that I was so afraid of. I mean. Um, yeah. God had had asked me to give up a lot of things, and and yeah. everything was everything was exercise. Eh? You know, uh, when when you work out, your muscles get, get stronger. In the same way, when when we surrender, you know, little by little, nasasanay tayo. Mamaya ang laki na nung hinihingi, hindi na masakit, di ba? Kasi kayang kaya mo na siya. Kayang kaya mo na siya i weight lift. And and I remember one of the things that um. Um, God gave me during that time when I was so afraid to surrender my my state of life to Him um, was was something that a preacher said. So it's it's a story of this this senior preacher, this senior pastor who was um, counseling a younger missionary, and that 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 missionary was so afraid to surrender to God because. Um, Sabi niya, naku baka pag mag-surrender ako, baka patalan ako ni Lord ng uh, mission. The Lord might send me on a mission to Africa. And so mm-hmm. the senior pastor said, so why, why are you so afraid? Because I don't want to go to Africa. And mm-hmm. the uh, senior pastor, um, senior missionary say, said something so beautiful. Sabi niya, you know, God will not give you Africa unless he puts Africa in your heart. Oh. And I've always held on to that word. That mm-hmm. every time God asks me to do something, He will not. He's not a God who's ano eh, Hindi siya Rambo eh. Hindi mm-hmm. siya yung just na sumisipa ng pinto, di ba? Tapos you know, uh, um, goes into you know, barges into your life. Uh, wow. Revelation three says, you know, I, He stands there knocking at the door, and so we waiting for us to open that yeah. door. So, so in the same way, nagkaroon ako ng peace doon na, ah, okay, Lord, so right now I'm still afraid, but I know I'll reach that point. If that's what you want for me, then you're going to put it in my heart. Yeah. And so surrendering became easier because mm-hmm. um, a- abandoning became easier kasi uh, nagkaroon ng trust, di ba? Yeah. Because abandonment cannot happen without without trust. You have yeah. to um, trust trust number one that that God's ways are best. Na ito yung plano ko sa buhay ko pero sigurado mas maganda yung plano ng Dios para sa akin. So dito na lang ako, de ba? Yeah. And number two, that God is sovereign, de ba? I love that word sovereign. Because yeah. tayo na wala ng control eh, de ba? 
Ah, uh, mm-hmm. ito ngayon, 'di ba? No, kahit na kahit na ikaw ang pinakamataas na na authority sa buong mundo, wala ka pa ring control dun sa virus wala. eh, 'di ba? Wala, even the Pope. Diba? <laughs> Even the Pope, correct. Even the Pope. Yeah. But but when knowing, trusting that God is sovereign, um, and we, that means even when bad things happen, ay yeah. alam ni Lord yan, alam ni Lord yan, di ba? Yeah. So so when it's like that, um, yung yung abandonment, um, it it's it's it becomes surrender. It becomes surrender to um somebody that you love and trust 'di ba it's like it's like mag-asawa um it, there are things that chris is you know parang wow hmm, talagang di ko kaya gawin 'yan so sige ano mo yan surrender ako pagdating diyan ah, 'di ba yung yung budget yung uh, um, <laughs> 'di ba yung forecasting what our needs are ay nako ang galing-galing niya diyan 'di ba yung asawa mo so, si chris Oh, oh, asawa ko si Chris. Yeah. Okay. Oo, siya na yan. Siya na yan, di ba? Ikaw yung Then, gasto. Oo, di ba? Sagot mo yun. Oo, may planning sa yan. Yan. Di ba? Kusila sa yan. Sa lahat, di ba? <laughs> Magaling siya sa lahat. Ako dito na lang ako. Mag-preach na lang ako. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Di ba? But it's like that. that, that parang when you trust the one that you abandon yourself to, um, yeah. may peace. May peace kasi alam mo eh, alam mo yung kung sino yung binigyan mo ng control. Tama. Ang ganda nung sinabi mo, Risa, nung exercise. Ang dami nga nagko-comment eh, exercise daw. Kasi palakas ka ng palakas if you start with small exercises muna. Diba? Small weights. Small, yeah. oo. Yung sur- ay, surrender ka muna kay Lord ng konti. Konti-konti. Mm-hmm. Hanggat kaya mo na yung lahat. Di ba? Mahirap Ala- kasi matigla eh. Mahirap. Yeah. Alam niyo, I, um, with this lockdown, I started to, well, I I, I really work out regularly. Um, but, uh, syempre, ngayon, uh, I'm not able to go to the gym or join my my um, uh, workout classes. So I've been doing YouTube um, uh, videos. So I started doing this because I wanted to strengthen my, my upper body. Yung lower body ko, uh, I'm able to, you know, diba? I swim kasi and ano. Pero yung upper body ko, yung arms ko, hindi masyadong strong. So I started doing upper body workouts. Noong umpisa, talagang inis na inis ako dito sa Skype. Pamela Rife, Rife ba o Reef? Basta 10 minutes lang. 10 minutes lang na upper body. Talagang nasa second or third minute pa lang ako. Parang gusto ko ng kalimutan na kristyano ko. Tapos gusto ko na siyang murahin. Ganun, ganun. Diba? Uh, <laughs> tapos talaga, yung, yung pagkatas ng 10 minutes, tapos yung luluhod siya, tapos gaganyan siya yung... Parang tapos na yung work. Marabi, gloria talaga sa akin yun. Pero yun, know, wala, pa, wala, pa, wala pang two weeks. Aba, talagang pag pumalakpak siyang ganyan, ako din sa'yo, ah, tapos ka na? Kaya ko na ikaw, I'm all arrive. Wow. I, I realize that, that how fast our body adapts, di ba? How, how easily we're able to strengthen our muscles. And so even in the spirit, you know, maybe our spirits, uh, you know, maybe um, obeying God doesn't come naturally to us. But, um, yeah. you know, the, the more you obey Him, it, it becomes, ano eh, it becomes um, reflex action. Um, and that's another thing that I want to mention about uh, the abandonment. So abandonment means, number one, surrender. Number two, trust. And then number three is obedience. Um, obedience. Kasi, uh, obedience unlocks wisdom uh, you know yung knowledge knowledge is overrated eh especially in in this day of uh, social media diba uh, anything you want to know is is you know uh, uh, the click of a finger everybody yeah. knows yeah, diba everybody knows everything everybody's mm. a phd when it comes to the coronavirus diba <laughs> pero the, diba pero what what is wisdom? Wisdom is knowledge applied. 
So it doesn't matter how much you know. What matters is how much you apply what you know. And when it mm. comes to our relationship with God, it's obedience that unlocks the wisdom that God has put here in, in Scripture. Because, um, yeah. you know, yung sinabi ni Arun um, earlier, write down the promises that God has given you. That, that Those promises are nothing if we don't act upon it. The words of God are nothing if we don't claim it. Diba? So the minute we obey, then we discover that, wait, tama pala, no? totoo pala yung sinabi ni Lord. Kasi, eh, diba, parang yung, yung sinabi pala ni Lord tungkol sa tithing, ay grabe, totoo pala yun. Yung talagang yeah. hundredfold pala. Yung sowing in times of famine, ay grabe, totoo pala yun. Kasi nung pandemic, kung kailan bumaba yung sweldo ko, lalo ako nagbigay, grabe yung balik sa akin. Hindi yeah. natin malalaman yan. Diba? Hindi natin malalaman yeah. yan kung hindi ba yung mag-try. Diba? Hindi mo itry. Hindi ka ang sumunod. Oh. Yes. Diba? Right. So the word of God, you can only put it to test. Diba? Parang, parang ano, uh, you know, like like any other thing. Parang, uh, ay, ay, cellphone, ay, ang galing. Pero kung hindi mo siya i-on, hindi mo makikita kung paano siya umandar. Yeah. So the obedience is the on switch to the mm-hmm. to the promises that, that God or the, the word that God gives us. That's right. Ganda. Wow. Very nice. Sis, um, thank you for all this. Ha? Thank you for um, for actually kinakain ko pa yung mga sinasabi mo. <laughs> it's, uh, it's so it's actually for these past days, you know, we've been we've been, you know, discussing about mga ganyan, no, um, overcoming fear here in the choir retreat, no, talagang, para na kaming pamilya dito, sis, that we strengthen each other, we're a, we're a family that kapit busy, kahit na yung iba, we don't, you know, dito lang kami nagkakilakilala, no, but, um, may I ask, how do you, how do you, kasi merong mga, you know, some, one day you're strong, one day you can do it, one day you feel that you're, you know, I'm, I have I I'm fearless I I mean I'm okay I'm trusting I'm in a good place but then you wake up the next day and then <laughs> you know even if you so what can you say to those of um us here who are listening who you know are not of course no it's kasi surrender is not you know it's an everyday thing no parang it has to be you have to choose to do it. But practically, sis, how would you, you know, obey? How would you how would you yeah, answer this? Yeah. yeah, you know, first of all, we're really in um, you know, I was writing something earlier today, and I you know, we're living in tricky times because it seems normal. Things seem normal, and yet it's so unnormal. It's so abnormal, these times that we live in. And yeah. so it's not like during the time of our parents, nung gera, World War II, I remember my mom, my dad would tell me stories, my mother-in-law. Alam mong hindi normal kasi you see bombs um, falling. Yeah. You yeah. see um, Japanese soldiers and American soldiers. You know, you see tanks and then you have to flee your homes. And you're, yeah. you're, you're surviving with uh, whatever you were able to grab. Alam mo na hindi normal to. I'm on, ano, I'm on um, uh, emergency mode ito, di ba? Mm-hmm. Um, but now, it seems very normal because you're in the house. Wala ka namang nakikita ang mga, mga kaaway. Wala namang umaatake sa'yo physically, oh. di ba? Um, and so, we feel so um, afraid when, when um, we get this fears we get anxiety um we we're worried but yeah. that is, if you if you think that it's very normal to be worried in fact if you're if you don't um suffer from anxiety or you're or you're not or you don't have worries during this time i would say that's that's more of the abnormal diba mm-hmm. so if you're worried during this time you're hey you're in good company that means you're sane that means you're 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 i know you're you're, diba? you're still healthy natural it's, yeah it's, because it's a natural reaction um you know the i i watched this video about um a uh, uh, best-selling author in the u.s and he wrote a book i forget the title now but in that book he interviewed uh 
uh, world um uh, 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 sorry what's this um ano yun yung mga uh, the Jews na nasa concentration camp okay mm -hmm. okay uh, Sorry, was it a concentration camp? Or, no, no. He was a he's an American soldier who was um, a soldier of war, and he was a, a sorry a prisoner of war for okay. seven years, uh, if I'm not mistaken, in in Vietnam or in Cambodia. So he okay. interviewed that, and the name of this um, officer was Stockdale, if I'm not mistaken. And um, imagine being uh, in prison in on enemy camp for seven years and they would be you know they were so afraid because they don't know when they would be taken out of the stocks and then beaten tortured tas ibabalik ka di ba ganyan and then you see all your your um your uh, co-prisoners one isa isa ilalabas babalik yeah. duguan di ba oh. so it was such a torture um yeah. and so but he survived seven years and then um so when this author was interviewing him and, and he asked, um, he said, uh, who were the people uh, who survived um, in, in, that, um, in that prison? Mm -hmm. And this officer said, it, it was the people who were the most optimistic who did not survive. Sabi ng no author, huh? Yung optimistic pa? Yun yung hindi nag-survive. Sabi niya, yes, because they, yung, mga daw, yung mga prisoners who said, oh, don't worry, this Christmas, by this Christmas, we'll be out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Christmas would come and they were still in prison. So they, these people na umaasa na by Christmas, marirescue sila o they would be set free. They would be so heartbroken. They wouldn't mm -hmm. be able to live up to the next Christmas. Mm -hmm. So, um, so, this, this, um, uh, you know, uh, it, it became uh, this author turned that into a principle. He called it the Stockdale um, phenomena, uh, mm. based on that author, because he said that um, you had to have uh, you have to have the, the the right balance of optimism and pessimism. The mm. optimism is I'm gonna get out of here alive. The yeah. pessimism is. Okay, it might not happen in one week, in two weeks, maybe not in a year or two years. Uh, so when you when you have that kind of frame of mind, you're in it for the long haul. Ibig sabihin, ready ako, ready ako. Uh, no matter how long it takes, basta I'm gonna get out of this alive. Pero kung yung ano mo, yung inisip mo, ay hanggang dito lang ako, kasi pag dumampas pa dito, hindi ko nakakayanin, di ba? Uh, so so in this time that you feel, you know, you wake up to today and, you know, you wake up tomorrow and you don't feel like, ah, ano ba to, nag-depress ka, okay lang yan. Okay lang yan. Mm -hmm. Get through today and then sleep tomorrow, you know, when you wake up tomorrow, you could be in good spirits, you know, you could be uh, whatever, di ba? But yeah. just know that, just knowing that it's okay to be not okay is already liberating, eh. It takes the pressure yeah. off. Yes, yeah. that's right. Galing. So, Quarry Treat family, one day at a time. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking it one day at a time. That's right. That's and true. the Lord will always supply the graces. Um, um, we can trust Him more and more because um, He never really, as we abandon ourselves to His will, we He will never disappoint. <laughs> Amen. He never ever fails, right? And so, well, with all this that Sister Risa has said, we just want to bring them all to prayer and just let the Holy Spirit come to our hearts and uh, let this word sink deep. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing uh, another feast worship song. And, uh, and Risa will pray for us. <laughs> oh, yes. She's not leaving yet. <laughs> We just want to say um, the battle cry of this night is we we surrender to the Lord. Amen. 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 Let's pray in the name of the, the Father, of the, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God, if you're willing, then 
to wait the suffering and pain take them away from my hands God is this burden covers your plan I trust in your ways I take it with my open hands Oh, God, I want only what you desire. Oh, not my will, yours alone will be done. I embrace this cross just as you, Lord, have done. This is not the end. You will turn this around. This breaking into glory. This thoughts into my crown. For I know you'll overcome. That my will will never be done. I am to raise this cross as is you, Lord, have done. This is not the end. You will turn this around. This breaking into glory. This force into my crown. For I know you'll overcome, not my will, but your will be done. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are our safe place. That in this time, Lord God, when everything is uncertain, everything is unsure, the future looks dark and bleak. We know, Lord God, you are the light. You are our high tower of safety. You are our refuge. And so we abandon ourselves to you, Lord. We abandon ourselves to you and know that with full trust, there is nothing to fear. Even if our fears shout out loud, even if our anxieties, Lord, uh, distract us and even if our worries speak louder than your word Lord we know that in that still small whispering sound we know Lord God that you are there and you will always deliver us you will never fail us we can put our hope and trust in you and so with this abandonment, Lord, and with this surrender, we do with joy. We reap the fruit of joy, knowing that the best is yet to come. Amen. Knowing that you hold our future in your hands. I pray, Lord God, right now for all of our brothers and sisters watching us, people who are um, all over the world, Locked down, sheltered, um, staying home for safety. Lord, I pray for all of their concerns, all of their worries, all of their uh, anxieties. We lift them all up to you, Lord. We lift them up to you. And we trust that you will take care of them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Just as you, Lord, have done, this is not the end. You will turn this around, this breaking into glory, this force into my crown. For I know you'll overcome. Not my will, but your 
Thank you so much, Risa. Thank you. Sis, please invite them. Sis, please yes. invite them to your Mondays. Yes, every Monday, um, I have an online Bible study called The Hunger Club. It's every Monday at 8 p.m. Philippine time. And you can um, you can find it on my um, Facebook page, Risa Sing San Kaupeng, full Full kasi puno na, hindi na ako maka-add ng friends. But you can follow me. Please follow me. Yeah. Dapat pala si is full life. Naksa, oh, yeah. Risa Singtol. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so Every Monday? Every Monday. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Right, right, right before. Uh, right before choir retreat. That's yeah. Hunger Club with Sister Risa Singtol. Thank you so much, Thank sis. Thank you, oh, blessed we are tonight. Yeah. And dami naming notes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. I really enjoyed it. Thank Yay. you. I'm sure everyone did. Yeah. Please read back their comments. Yes. We didn't oh, have yeah. time to do that, but wow, it's just wonderful. Thank you. God bless. <laughs> God Hugs bless to your you girls. Yeah. Thanks, Arun. Yeah. Thanks, Valen. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Quarry Tree Dance, for being with us in our day. 47. 47. Dami nating natutunan. Grabe. Punong puno. So I... let's continue to surrender, to trust, and to obey our God. What a perfect huh? message na, love. Because yeah. today is April 30. Dapat re-ring to ano na tayo eh. <laughs> May one na bukas. <laughs> but we abandon ourselves. To what is being asked of us? Yeah, by the government. Yeah, by the government, and also by the and we most of all abandon ourselves to what God wants. So we stay the, home. Yeah, the others are already in there, yes. going back to their new normal or to their new normal now. No, yeah, and, uh, yeah. God bless you. May the Lord protect you. Thank you again for helping feed five thousand. Wow, five thousand aputayo. Wow. Kaya tuli-tuli lang po. Just continue to support this project so we can feed More. our <laughs> poor brethren. Huh? Yes. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> uh, thank you for all your comments. Mm -hmm. You know what? Yeah. Yan. We're, <laughs> sabi ni Lorena, busog, sarap daw siya. Yeah. Wherever you are in the world. Sama-sama tayo. And tomorrow, we have another guest. Ah, surprise. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, mga kabataan naman. Ang, uh, ang, ano kayong nararamdaman oh, na, na? Talaga. Sasali natin sila. Mm -hmm. So invite your young Invite uh, your teens. People in the house. Invite your to kids watch to join you tomorrow uh, because it will be exciting. Yes. <laughs> okay daw to parang gusto ko to. Yeah, no. Feed five, six. <laughs> All right. God bless you. Good night, everybody. May the Lord protect you and keep you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Bye.